Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Dream Daddy Streams. Welcome, Jade, welcome, Aleph, and welcome anyone viewing anonymously. So, it is time to do the second of the final seven dates. But before that, we have a little bit of stream news. See, Aleph, that's not even cursed. That's just the truth. <laughs> that right there is just the fucking truth. Um... The only homesick news we have today is news that I'm sure everyone already saw. So, of course... Whoops, that's too much. <laughs> Carcat's introductory panel, they used the, uh... I'm gonna file right here. The 432 Fuck You from the legendary Carcalicious. And then today, they posted something that went... One step further. Carcalicious definition makes Terezi loco. She wants to know the secrets that she can't taste in my photo. Dying just to know the flavor. I ain't doing her no favors. No reasons why I tease her. Flesh just comes and goes like seasons. Carcalicious. Carcalicious. <laughs> Carcalicious definition. Fucking video. She no, makes Terezi. <laughs> It's the fact that they used the fucking Undertale font to write Pester Quest at the end is what nails the- hammers the fucking nail in for me. God. So... Oh. Wait, has he tweeted again? What? My fucking Discord servers are betraying me. Why hasn't anybody... I get a lot of the information I get from different news feeds on Discord. Um, <laughs> and, you know, discussions on different servers and stuff. Um, this seems like the kind of thing that folks would want to talk about. But yeah, Aleph, oh my god, link that shit. Like, right now. Um, yes, okay, I'll open that up in one second. So, what makes this so beautiful, of course, is also that they audio use with permission of case that is the one and only case um so yeah this you know was made my fucking day oh right shit i haven't actually linked that in chat so let me do that we'll tr swap links um Ah, there we go. See, I, I knew I, when there was no, nothing yesterday, really, about, like, you know, there was that one post from, uh, the official Reddit. I was like, hmm, I'm sure there must be more than this, because this doesn't even say who found it. Um, but... <laughs> I stay, I stay in the tea house and rest him for ten minutes because I'm so. So, that oh yeah, that's how he Oh yes, and that is this person has found. Toblerones, with a little note as well. Um. Oh yeah, what what are your wishes to make, Hannah? They want to make my troll Sona appear in a high swap background. It shall be done. Damn. All right, the next wish has been made. So someone's Trollsona is going to appear in the background of Hive Swap as a cameo. All right, that was pretty fucking cool. So, where will he hide Toblerones next? I don't know. I hope it's in fi it's at least somewhere in Canada. I think we Canadian homestucks deserve something. <laughs> At least two, possibly four. Hmm. Yeah, I'm. I'm. It's making me excited for high swap again. We got some high swap talk here, real, real quick. Um. But yeah. So that's neat. Thank you for sharing, Aleph. I'm. I'm really glad we got to, you know, see this and talk about it. All right. Um. On that jolly note let's swap to the game um 
Yes, and of course I'm I'm very biased in the uh, the remark is about Canadian homestucks because I am Canadian homestuck. But you know, hmm. Okay. So today we embark on the second of the final seven dates. Um, so yesterday we did Roberts, and that went mostly well. Uh, so I posted in the Discord server, but I'll talk about it here as well. Um, after stream, I went back and went on YouTube and found the best ending for Robert, because we didn't get the very best end. Uh, Robert just, we tried to be a little more emotionally vulnerable with him and then he like fucked off and that was the end of the game and I was like that was so fucking unsatisfying <laughs> god um so it turns out we actually did get a two out of three though because the, the, apparently the three things that are a kind of big changers for Robert's ending are the conversation with Mary the conversation with Val and a conversation with Robert, of course. And we got the best ending conversations with Mary and with Val. But not with Robert. The one with Robert, um, the, in the good ending. Oh, let's see if I can actually fucking remember. Um, yeah, basically he's like, I think you're really cool, but I need more time to work on myself emotionally before I can, like, get into a relationship. And then you're character player is like, I respect that, but let's, you know, I still want to be here for you as a friend, and he's like, that'd be nice, and it's real cute, and I love it, I love that, I love that for them. Um, yeah, so that's the ending that we missed out on, <laughs> by not doing so well on his dates, I guess. Um, so these are all auto saves. we need to go all the way back down here, Wee. um, to this one. Welcome. You've got dads. Okay. So who today then? What are the votes for today? Because so I remember so yesterday our, all of the votes were like a three-way tie for Robert, Joseph, and Damien. So Joseph and Damien were the runners up from yesterday. I'm wondering if there's been any shift in opinion. If we still have a tie, and I gotta bust out my dice, or how are y'all feeling tonight? What kind of mood are you in? Which dad are we going for? Hmm, I know, it's a tough decision. It's a tough decision. Yeah, I'm... I'm, like, always biased towards Damien. I think I've been biased towards Damien since the beginning of the game, just because, like... His aesthetic? Good shit. Um, you're feeling Damien. Okay. Aleph. I know that you have been very enthusiastic about Joseph. Is it safe to assume that... <laughs> you are still wanting to do Joseph's and that I should just bust out my dice, like, right now. Like, I already grabbed them. They're already in my hand. Un unless you're gonna wild card it. No, I got it. Okay. Whoa! I just dumped them all out and then one of them went rogue. Um, I'll just use the one dice that decided to take a flying leap. And this is a D10. Okay. Whoa, whoa. And I dropped it. It is very slippery today. This little motherfucker doesn't want to stick around. So, let's do this little roll. Now you're thinking about D&D. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I have... I think I... I, I likely have a game next Sunday. But, oh yo... Motherfuckers, I mentioned yesterday I was waiting for a callback from a job interview. 
and I was pissed that they said they'd call on Friday, and then I was like, well, fuck, I guess I didn't get that one either. They fucking called today, and I got the job, which is cool and shit, but at the same time, it's like, ooh, because it's retail work, and I've never done retail before, and I'm like, oh my god. Also, I'm worried about them overshifting me, because I'm already, like, not having a fun time with my schoolwork, but I also need money. <laughs> so... No, now it's turning into loving your character's hours. Aw. <laughs> okay, okay, I gotta roll this dice. I gotta roll this dice. Joseph, odd numbers, Damien, even numbers, Joseph. Four. Joseph. That is... A Joseph. Indeed. Okay. Whoops. Alright, just knocking everything over today. So, Damien shall wait an wait to another weekend. Another, it'll probably be another two weeks until we get back to Dream Daddy, since next weekend is Pester Quest, and we're getting two routes. So we'll have to see just how long they are and if they require a stream each or not. We'll see. Um, but yes. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, I, I need I need that good look right now. Um, yo, what? I just yo little details in the fucking UI. These hearts have the same the same sort of moving stripes pattern as like the the background and the other pieces of the UI. It's light pink and dark pink stripes. That is such a cute little detail. Anyway. Spooky noise? Oh, the spooky noise was probably when I accidentally knocked something into my microphone stand and it made a springy sound. Okay. Let's go, Joseph. Okay. Oh, yes. So the interesting thing about Joseph, of course, is that Mary is involved in this equation. Mary thinks that we- Mary thinks we're, like, heavy gunning for something romantic here, and she is super not happy with us. And yes, the weird encounter with Mary at the bar was quite something. I really want to see Joseph again. But after that weird encounter with Mary, I don't know. He's my friend, right? I should be able to hang out with him and it not be weird, right? Right? The computer pings as a message flies into my inbox. It's Joseph. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, I just looked in chat. Dude, what the fuck? What does that mean? what I'm going to emotionally process this later <laughs> and just keep streaming for now I will link that in underneath uh, in underneath the YouTube video for anyone watching on YouTube um, yeah Aleph is like on top of it today with the fucking hard-hitting news <laughs> oh. Yeah, I gotta- I gotta emotionally process that, like, after stream today, or this is just not gonna happen. <laughs> okay. Joseph is messaging us. Hi, Jake. We should hang out. Like, actually hang out. No manual labor, no impromptu therapy sessions with sad DJs, no kids. It's you, me, and the open ocean. Wait, how are we gonna get on the open ocean? <laughs> how are we gonna get on the open ocean, you might ask? Good question. Whoa, prescient. <laughs> 
If you're interested, I'll meet you down by the marina and you can check it and you can check out the goods, if you know what I mean. I mean my yacht. Let me know. <laughs> Joseph owns a yacht? Joseph owns a yacht? Right. <laughs> and Amanda's immediately like, I'm in, take me with you. <laughs> I'm as surprised as you are. You've been holding out on me. Your only daughter, whom you love. What, did you think that having me as a father would somehow afford you the fringe benefit of getting to go on a yacht? Hmm. What else did it get me? <laughs> a healthy upbringing in a supportive environment. I am literally paying for your college, or not a dog, that's for sure. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm partial to the first option. Are there any other... Any other, uh... Thoughts, feelings, opinions on this one. <laughs> You're neutral because they're all gold. Okay. Opinions, Aleph? Or are you on the hunt for even more shocking news to make me just, like, fucking cancel stream today? Yeah, I feel like, um, oh, where was I going with that? I don't know. I may continue moving on, because I know some, oh. <laughs> I swap back to demo. Okay, buddy. Um. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the options on the screen, Aleph. Do you have an opinion? <laughs> I'm swap act two. Is your Discord still set to say playing Hive Swap Act two, or did you change it to Hive Swap Act three? Because I feel like I saw that at one point. <laughs> A healthy upbringing in a supportive environment. Yeah, okay, but what if I had the exact same upbringing in a healthy environment, but I could also go on a yacht sometimes? <laughs> Relax, kiddo. Joseph's inviting me onto his yacht. It's gonna be a- it's gonna be a yacht of fun. God. I'm glad you're excited, but that doesn't mean you get to start throwing out puns. Why yacht, Amanda? Mm. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> You did change it to Act 3, yeah. <laughs> well, I gotta go get ready. To go on my friend's yacht. I start to walk away, but Amanda stops me. Hey. In all seriousness, I hope you have fun. But make good choices, okay? Oy vey, that seems like a... <laughs> that seems like a meta-narrative warning of not to completely fuck this up. <laughs> But, Dad... <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't stay out too late or you can't go to Jennifer Longforth's birthday party this weekend. She promised me she would prom pose to me, but ended up going with Logan Crutchfield. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere near that party. <laughs> Good bit, Dad. Good bit. <laughs> I respond back to Joseph, letting him know I'll be there. Just calling him out for being gay. I mean, like... Yeah, I think I think I think it's uh well I think it's viable, it's a little bit of both. But yeah, that definitely with all that conversation with Mary that felt like a little bit like the writers of the game giving us a fair warning too. <laughs> a quaint marina complete with a local complete with local mom and pop shops and a small diner frame the bay. I've gone for a few walks by the bayside to stare enviously at all the nice boats before. Joseph should be around here somewhere. Right, this is where we had dinner with Amanda one time. In one of the earlier cutscenes. <laughs> 
<laughs> True, Amanda and Jake pointing at each other just being like, lol, gay. <laughs> Gosh, this is fancy. I feel a little out of place. Jake. That doesn't sound like Joseph. I turn around to find if it's Mary, I'm gonna fucking shit. Oh, Robert, oh my god. All right, that's... I was like, oh my god. Mary is like, the, this is, the, this is the, the, the final date. It's not a date, it's a fucking confrontation. Mary's gonna rip us a new one one more fucking time. <sighs> Robert, hey. What's he doing here? Are there boys? Yes, this, hello. Uh, nice to see you again so soon. <laughs> So, how's Joseph? Robert comes off cold immediately. I get the feeling he's not happy I'm here. And what's with that look? He seems very angry. Very, very angry. Okay. He He's going through some stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Robert blasts through a cigarette. One of our seven boyfriends. <laughs> yeah. By the end of this game. But, oh boy. What? So I guess he's your friend now, huh? Your pal? What is he getting at? He's being, like, really weird. Oh, he's... Robert, you're my friend too. Did Mary... Yeah, like, is he here to be angry on behalf of Mary? I think that's... Pr I think it's pretty plausible, then, that he's... He, he's here... He, m m upset because he sees... He's seen how upset Mary has gotten about all this. Because they're really close. And I suppose two friends just spend the night out on a private yacht together, being buds, chatting about friendship. Is that what two friends do? His voice is getting louder. What's gotten into him? I mean, like, chilling on a yacht with a friend, like, that sounds like a plausible evening. Hey, Robert, come on. You know I'm not like that. Excuse me? Ooh, that was not a good voice clip. Jake, you might be an idiot, but I'm not. Oh! Oh boy! What's your problem with Joseph anyway? I don't like Joseph. I don't trust Joseph. Joseph is a bad guy, and I don't want him around you. Okay. Like, is this some past beef that he's like... Robert, you committed petty larceny last week, and I think you've been, and I, <laughs> you committed petty larceny last week, and think you've been haunted by the Dover ghost. <laughs> it was the goddamn Dover ghost. <laughs> Robert pauses to calm himself down. Hmm. Joseph's not who you think he is. Oh boy. We're maybe acting dubiously ethical. I mean. Because the, here's the thing, the setup for the game is Dream Daddy, you go on the dates, and we've been referring to them as the dates, but it's like, most of these routes have shown that they're not, they don't, it doesn't necessarily have to be that. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of them haven't had any pointed romantic intentions to them. Aside from the occasional, oops, he's hot. <laughs> Although I suppose in the frame of specifically Joseph's route, there have been some uncomfortable close calls. Hmm. What? Oh. Ask him about it sometime. Bring it up. And watch your back when you do. Because a guy like that will put a knife right in it. 
Robert flicks his cigarette into, into the front seat of a recently cleaned schooner before turning around to leave. He takes a step, hesitates, then turns back to face me. You're both awful. You deserve each other. I'll tell Mary you said hi. Oi. With that, Robert storms off down the pier. Are they exes? Ooh. That theory is plausible. <laughs> Shit. They, I guess they could be. I mean, they've been living in the same neighborhood for so long. They, they've likely known each other for a while. Hmm. But, like, what the fuck is supposed to come up when he's, he's like, you know, he's not who you think he is. Ask him about it sometime. That's so fucking vague. There's nothing there to ask about because you haven't given any direction to that statement. Like, how so? The only way we could give that context any statement in order to ask Joseph about it would be to say that it came from you. Well, okay. I wander deeper into the marina. All of these boats are really, really nice. I wonder which one is Joseph's. Hey, Jake! Jo Joseph? Where are you? Up here! I look up. Joseph's, Joseph waves to me from atop a huge yacht. I've never been on a yacht before. You, you never forget your first. I glance at the name on the side of the boat. Oh, whoops, my phone's dying. One second. Alright, and we're good. <laughs> the St. Peter, huh? Inherited this thing from my pops. Real fire and brimstone type. Loved yachts. So, what's the plan, Captain? I figured since last time we time went a bit sideways, we could cast our lot, we could cast our our lot out on the open seas, wrestle with Neptune, and set sail on the seas of adventure. You're kind of a goofball when you're not wrangling your kids. You know that. <laughs> Joseph smiles and winks from his perch. And there he is. I have no idea what you're talking about. Joseph hops down and extends a hand to me, helping me up onto the yacht. I'm thrown off by how soft his hands are. Does he moisturize or what? Jake, stop thinking about his hands. Y'all, this, this whole thing is going to stress me the fuck out, isn't it? God. Pure thoughts. You're going to be on a boat, alone, with Joseph, on the open ocean. It's a yacht. He's married. It's fine. <laughs> Oy vey! Yeah, I don't- just as a side note, I don't know why my brain has been just going to oy vey instead of yikes just for the past like week, week and a half. It's just, you know, it's been a thing. This is fine. Yeah, this is gonna- this whole thing is gonna get me so fucking stressed out. Okay. After undoing the mooring and climbing into his captain's seat, Joseph slowly takes the boat out, ringing the big steel bell with extra emphasis even though nobody else seems to be around. Shoving off! Boat launching! Man and boat launching as one! Fucking nerd. The St. Peter navigates out of the marina and into the open water, with Joseph doing the occasional steering flourish as the, bo as the boat bobs along with the waves. He seems a lot more relaxed out here, and Joseph is definitely in his element. Oh. This is the part where we wrestle Neptune, so please remove your shirt and roll in some talcum powder. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't bring any talcum powder. Luckily, I brought my Neptuning fork, or can do. <laughs> Foreshadowing for you converting, god. Any opinions on this? I'm kind of like not sure where to go on these three options.
Um, I feel like luckily, luckily I brought my Neptuning fork. Is kind of, kind of a fun one to pick. I didn't bring any talcum powder. And I feel like falls a little bit flat because it's like, well, it is very stressful that we're trying not to turn this into a romantic evening. Um, <laughs> um, I didn't bring any talcum powder. I was playing it maybe a little too flat. Queer dudes and dads love puns. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, the, the pun trend in particular started reaching mainstream specifically through popularity within queer communities uh, online. That's just my view of things um, in terms of popularity in recent um, popular culture. Um, Neptuning, Neptuning? Yeah. Luckily, I brought my Neptuning fork. <laughs> All right, that was a good one. Joseph stifles a laugh. <laughs> Collegiate level dad joking there, Jake. For a while, we watch as the trees and waves pass us by. Where are we going? <laughs> a little further out. It's a lot quieter once we get out on open water. Oh. Plus, we could see whales. Whales are cool. I don't trust whales. Nothing should be that big. <laughs> oh. Noted. Joseph maneuvers the boat past some boys. He sighs. Mm. Wish I could get out more often, but you know. Family, wife, saving souls. <laughs> <laughs> so many souls. I can barely hold them all. Oh, he's, he's winking. <laughs> I watch Joseph work the boat. Despite his age, he doesn't look like he's slowed down at all. And from here I can, and from here I can see how toned his muscles are. Impure thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I stare out at the ocean. Joseph's right. It's a lot quieter out here. But something about that conversation with Robert still bothers me. So, I ran into Robert. Oh. Was he He wasn't waiting for you with a dock, was he? Yes, and smoking like a Yes, and smoking like a chimney. Ooh, uh... That's Robert, all right. Okay, sneak cat. I'm. There's definitely some mystery here. You hit on something. Is everything okay between you two? He seemed angry. Huh? It's. Hmm. How do I put this? Hmm. Did Robert ever proposition you for um, escapades? Uh, actually, he did. Yeah. And did you take him up on that? No. Ah, so if we had, then this would have changed the way this date and this conversation would have gone. Die. Ah, well. <laughs> that is where we differ. Boy! Oh my god. <laughs> you fucking called it, Jade. What? Oh. I know, I know. Father of four, family man, married for Christ's sakes. I should have. I should never have even. But I was in a bad place, and with Mary constantly out, I. <sighs> Joseph settles himself before continuing. This definitely gets under his skin. Hey. I made a hasty decision. One which Robert does not exactly. Uh, he has a weird thing about casual. Um. But he asked you. Uh, yeah. You would have to ask Robert about the weird Robert politics of that. He's been weird about it ever since. Huh. Yeah. But it's over, right? Hmm. Oh, yes, absolutely. That began and ended on the same day. Okay, so they're not exactly exes like relationship exes, but like history. Oh my god. Well... Okay, then. Yeah. So, you're not upset? I'm not. Things happen, Joseph. And I think you of all people deserve a little forgiveness. Ooh. Thank you, Jake. That means more than you'll ever know. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's still like... Oy. That... Uh... Damn. All right.
moving forward. Joseph and I bowed in silence as the bay gets smaller and smaller behind us. I decide to take a peek over the edge of the ship. So I'm assuming that... Okay, I'm going to return to this just for one second. Uh, <laughs> I'm assuming that... Robert did not proposition Jake the same way that Robert propositioned us. Like, we just moved into town and he was kind of like, wanna fuck? And we were like, whoa. Um, but yeah, like, we didn't know if there was more history to that relationship before they did what I'm assuming is, like, I guess a one-night stand. Um, or what? But, hmm. So there's... Definitely a lot more to the situation that we do not know yet. The wake this thing kicks off is intense. I wonder if Joseph would ever let me water ski off of his yacht. Hey, dolphins! <laughs> Joseph, there are dolphins! Oh. So you're scared of whales, but not dolphins? I feel like there's an unspoken truce between man and dolphin. I would be more than comfortable riding a dolphin into battle. <laughs> <laughs> Dolphins are way more dangerous. They sometimes drown their babies for fun, you know. Oh. <laughs> Can I trust nothing in the open ocean? Oh. I like to think that I'm pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, Joseph, it's you and me versus the entirety of marine life. Yeah. I yell out at the ocean. Alright! More... <laughs> more fish insults. We did not get them all out of our system by yelling fuck you at a trout in the brine date. Okay. Get high off pupper fish. What? Oh my god. Yeah, they actually, they have a, they can be pretty, pretty aggressive actually, I think. Um, but you're all spineless invertebrates. I had lobster last week and I can't wait to eat more of you. Or my life goal is to punch as many fish as I can before I die. <laughs> God, these are all fucking golden. Um. Hmm. Your life goal? Okay, one vote for life goal, one vote for lobster. Where'd my dice go? Ah, oh, why the fuck did I put them back? Oh, they're actually in there pretty tight. Okay. D4. Uh, D4, D4, D4. Okay, odd numbers. Lobster, even numbers, life goal. That's a four. <sighs> Fuck. My life goal is to punch as many fish as I can before I die. Hmm. You tell him, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are. Jake, welcome to the ocean. I look out into the vast expanse of blueness. Yep, that's the ocean. I'm suddenly struck with an overwhelming center of claustrophobia despite being in a wide open space. I am on a boat with a handsome man, a handsome married man, and there are whales beneath us. Nothing should be that big. Oh. <laughs> it's a little daunting, isn't it? Do you trust the whales? Mm. You know, there are more dangerous things in the ocean than whales, right? Mm -hmm. Like tuna. The tuna is an apex predator. And what about sharks? Oh. Sharks are tight. Oh. It's the tuna you gotta watch out for. <laughs> and the whales. Hey, wanna look out wistfully over the sea with me? <laughs> Joseph and I head to the bow of the ship to do some quiet contemplation. You know, mm -hmm. I... Shh. Quiet contemplation. <laughs> I'm alone with my thoughts. Cool. Hey. I look out to the sea for a bit, then over to Joseph. He looks so commanding as he surveys the ocean. It feels like it feels like he really is at home on the water. What Mary said to me at the bar. I can't stop thinking about it. Is she right? But she's terrible to him. He's unhappy. He deserves better. I don't know what to think about this, but I just feel so drawn to Joseph. I should say something. 
So, uh, about Mary. Oh god, this is gonna be a conversation. Ooh, this is gonna be stressful. Um... Being alone with you, that's a lot of fun. Mm. Why are Joseph's ears so big? I don't know. I guess they just are. Honestly, like, my why is that so... My why is that like that thing for the sprites? The one thing that's always stood out to me is that Damien's hands are fucking ginormous. And, like, just gonna get the obvious yaoi hands joke out of the way. Although... I suppose that was a more popular joke in, like, 2012 when I was in fucking high school. But, <laughs> um, yeah, that's always struck me as, like, his hands are fucking big. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Fucking brace yourselves, y'all. We are gonna talk Mary. With Joseph. Right here, right now. Joseph continues to stare off into the distance. It's, um... Hmm. Well, if you really want to know... Poor McDonald! Oh, shit, I got the sound turned down too low on my computer. I didn't hear what he just said. There was a voice clip there. Suddenly, I hear a sputter coming from the engine room. Joseph runs over to the, to the boat's control and taps on some dials. I guess we can talk about Mary later. All right, well, if you're not Jade, you can stick around for now. <laughs> oh, okay. So, oh. we might have a small problem. Oh, boy. <laughs> what small problem? Yeah. We are out of gas. Oh, for the love of fuck. Yes, Jade, you got it. We are fucking stuck out here. I mean, like, I'm sure there must be a lifeboat on this thing somewhere. But still. Still not a fun situation. The whales are gonna get us. The whales siphoned our gas! Oh. It's okay, I can just call one of my boat buddies to come tow us back in. Joseph pulls out oh. his phone. Just kidding, I can't do that because there's no service. Yeah, I, I was gonna say something about cell phones, and then I was like, well, if they're far enough out, they won't have service. Bingo. I check my phone. I don't have service either. Should we just submit ourselves to the whales? <laughs> well, I do have an old radio in the office, but it's broken. Are you handy with tools? I am a dad. I am a dad. If the radio is anything like frantically putting together a bike on Christmas Eve, it should be no problem. Oh. Let's take a look at it and see what we can figure out. Joseph directs me towards the radio and showcases its insides. Hmm. I don't know how radios work. <laughs> hmm. I think there's just some frayed wires in here. If we can reattach them, we should have a working radio in no time. We stare into the interior of the radio. I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking at. I don't think Joseph knows either. Uh, you know what? Let's just throw some stuff around in there and see what works. <laughs> oh god, minigame. MacGyver, oh no, that MacGyver that rate. Oh fucking. Um. Oh. Okay, here's a wire. That's. What? What was that? What did that just do? I'm trying to pick up this wire. I think you're missing something. Okay. What the? Hey. Get out of there. Um, the, the screw? I'm trying to go with, like, the logical options. <laughs> um, surgeon symbol. Am I supposed to be, like, lining things up, connecting to different stuff, or just, like, dumping things in there? There's a fucking condom over here. I just noticed that. Um, what about the, the paper clips? <laughs> no, I only wanted to pick up the, whoops. Um, no. Because, like, like, how do you...
So it says it thinks that I'm... What was that? There was little sparks... Okay, okay. Wait, I'm gonna take these these things out. No. What the? I only wanted to pick up the. Okay. Hello. Got the controls are not great on this mini game. Um. No. No, I'm trying to pick up the wire. What is happening with the lighting? Okay. There was some. Oh, there's the black wire. Fuck! Yeah, it's like, you have to- but it's, like, this stuff just fucking spaghettis, like... <laughs> it- it- there's no form to this. There is no way to control... how a thing drops. But I think... There's something with this black pad because it keeps sparking when I- Oh! Do I need to connect the two black pads? How do I do that when the fucking wire just keeps fucking- Like I'm playing goddamn goat simulator. Oh, sparks shooting under something isn't great. That's another- Well, see, I saw that as, like, the game's visual indicator that, like, something was starting to connect. Can I pick up the yellow things that are in the radio? Where the fuck did the- Um, no, I can't pick up anything that's in the radio except for the objects that I already put in there. to do. The duck is like the third most confusing. Yeah, like what if I just okay, cause like, whoa, where did the, oh there it is the bounce, the physics in this are weird. Um what is this pink thing? Oh, it's an eraser. Yeah, there's gum and an eraser. So what if I <laughs> What the fuck? The wires, the gum, the eraser. The wires, the gum, and the eraser. Why? I don't know, you know what? Sure. Why is that not in a rap you disgusting sea man? True, what the fuck? <laughs> That's Well I'll take it. It's a victory. Cool. Hey, it works. Kinda. Sure. <laughs> the mini games in this are super hit or miss. And even the ones that hit are, like, okay, but not great. Like, I know they were trying to add an extra gameplay aspect, but, like, the writing really speaks for itself. I don't think the mini games are entirely necessary. The radio springs to life. Whoa, we did it. Joseph speaks into the receiver. Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me? He tries a few other channels. Nobody responds. We might be a little far out. I don't think there's anyone in range. How big's the range? Well, this radio came with the boat when my dad bought it in the 60s, so... Not great. I... Joseph! <laughs> That's reassuring. Now what? Oh. There's worse places to be stuck on than a yacht. Wine? <laughs> wine, wine, or WINE! <laughs> Just gonna go with the first option on this one, for simplicity's sake. Ooh. 
I keep a couple emergency bottles below the deck. Want to go grab some while I fiddle with this radio some more? Let's see. Wine, wine. Okay, so he's got, like, a whole cabin down here. Like, he, like, he could potentially just fucking live on this thing. It's got to be around here somewhere. Oh my god! Okay. So, we get to examine Joseph's fucking cabin living space. Lounge, shelf, cabinet. Those are the choices that I'm going to leave you with as we head off for break. It's a little bit early, but I figure that this is as good a spot as any to take a little break. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh no, indeed. Ruminate, where are we gonna look? Five minutes. Give it some thought. Bro moment. <laughs> Fucking true though. Okay. Give it some thought. Where you want to poke around first? Be back in five. Back we are. Okay. It is time to do a little bit of snooping around. <laughs> Why is the eye there in cabinet? I mean, some people do pronounce the I. I suppose. But, uh... Yeah. Just, uh... How would it spell then? I don't know. I don't really have an answer. But I do know that some people do actually pronounce it. With the I in it. Is that a vote for looking in the cabinet first? Or... <laughs> We can look at the lounge, the shelf, or the cabinet. I feel like the cabinet is the likely place where the wine is actually going to be. And I don't want us to, like, get kicked out if we find the wine early or whatever. I don't know whether or not it will kick us out. But it could also very well be in the shelf or the lounge. Drink the residue from the existing glasses. Yeah, just take everything that is on the fucking coffee table up to upstairs and be like, is this what you were looking for? Okay, we have a vote for cabinet. Um... You down with that, Olive? We do cabinet? I, I'm sure it won't. Like I said, if we do find the wine, we'll have plenty of time to snoop. <laughs> sure, alright. Examine cabinet. It's a sturdy cabinet. A little dusty, but I bet there are some treasures in here. Okay. Decisions upon decisions upon decisions. Um, for the sake of time, where's my D6? You don't have it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to roll D6 to decide which one. We do first, just for the sake of time. That fell off the table. Three, okay, drawer. Examine drawer. Hey, it's wine! A whole drawer full of wine! It's a Yacht Club miracle! Twi Twilight Rouge, huh? Come to daddy. Now I just need to find some glasses. Okay, we do get to examine everything. Um, Let's see, that's an odd number fire extinguisher. Look, you can tell a lot about a man by how seriously he takes his fire safety. Nice, Joseph. Nice. <laughs> okay, flashlights? Well, this is a solution to a different problem. Maybe if we're stranded out here for days and run out of electricity, we'll need these. But the, sh but the chief concern right now is wine intake. Okay. Shelf or lounge? Any opinions? Who was in the over calling Robert handsome even though you didn't think of <laughs> Aleph, no, that was a that was a group effort. Also, that was just uncomfortable. 
That was not a fun experience for the folks who were playing. But also, let's not turn this into a... Uh, you fucked this up, you fucked that up. Please. This ain't- this chat- this chat ain't gonna turn into a fucking back and forth call out post, alright? <laughs> okay. And... I rolled a five, let's see, um... Shelf? Shelf is fine? That was fine. I'm just gonna go with the shelf. We're gonna get to see all of this anyway, so I'll just take a look at everything. I take a look at everything on the shelf. Okay. Three. Examine knickknacks. If there's one thing Joseph does right, it's the odd stuff he puts on shelves. I take a moment to closely examine what I think is an old submarine clock. Ah, and there's, a, and there's the crosses again. Boy knows his crosses. Real cool design, too. I take a look at everything on the sh I take a look at everything on the shelf. Okay, we're back. Okay. It's an even number. Books. Looks like a bunch of different Bibles. On brand. A couple of old vet magazines. I guess those must be Mary's. Wait a minute. Is this? <gasps> what did we just find? Well, well. Now the hot body shoe is on the other hot body foot. I take a look at everything. That tells us nothing. Okay, so he probably just found some smut. <laughs> like, that's probably all that was. Or maybe if, maybe the bringing up the books will be a conversational option later and we'll get to fucking find out. <laughs> oh, ouch, I hate when that happens. Okay, photos. There are a few photos on the wall here. It looks like a picture of Joseph and Mary's wedding day. Nice grandpa glasses. Looking real slick there, Joe. Another picture of Mary and another picture of Mary and Joseph on this very yacht. Quality nineties fashion right here. Mary still has her patented stink face, but at least Joseph seems happy on the water. Hey, it's all the dads. It looks like it's from a couple years ago. The gang's all still here. Brian, Matt, Hugo, Craig, Damien, Robert. Wow, Robert's actually smiling and wearing a sweater. That's... I know that sweater. And there's one guy on the end that I don't recognize. Hugo's ex, maybe? And hey, here's Joseph, Joseph go-karting with the kids. That's fun. What's the fucking sweater? Is it this? Is it Joseph's sweater? Is that it? He said it was a one-time thing, but he could have just been like uncomfortable talking about the whole thingamajig. Whose sweater is Robert wearing? What? Okay, so. I mean, we don't... We were looking for the glasses, though. We gotta find those glasses, right? I mean, they're on the fucking table. But, the, but I think that's where we're looking, is the lounge over here. For an old yacht, this lounge is pretty high class. Wood panels on everything, leather couches. It's like an old Playboy photo shoot in here. Okay. Any any opinions? Is anyone else thinking we should stop? Am I am I being a bad person? Oh whoops. <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out, Aleph. I will take that off the screen now. <laughs> Shit. Side table. Ah, here are some wine glasses. Bingo, got him. These are perfect vessels for the Twilight Rouge. Finally, time to get back to Joseph. Okay. Look, I'm a nosy motherfucker, okay? We found the wine glasses. 
but I'm a nosy motherfucker and I hope this doesn't bite us in the ass. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Back we go. Back we- Ah! <laughs> Look. This- Video games are the only place where I am actually allowed to indulge the fact that I am incredibly fucking nosy. You'd never guess it in real life because I am- I, I am very respectful of people's privacy. But I am- I have <laughs> such an urge to be a nosy motherfucker. <laughs> Head back up to Joseph. I bring the wine glasses up to the deck and find Joseph still hunched over the radio. Jake, wine! Good to see you two. Just in time for the sunset. I didn't take you for a drinker. Yeah. Haven't you heard? I'm a cool minister. Yeah, and didn't you fucking share margaritas in Margaritaville in his fucking office on the last excursion? Like... How cool. I can land I can land half of my kickflips. <laughs> what is that? Like four? Oh. Five on a good day. Poor me. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Regular poor or power poor? My immediate instinct is to go for a fucking power poor. Fuck yeah, power poor. <laughs> and that was the good one too. Go fucking feral on that wine. Absolutely. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Time to party. <laughs> we clink our glasses and drink up. This wine's not bad. There's a hint of... Am I tasting grapes? <laughs> oh. You have a discerning palate. It might be grapes. <laughs> go crazy, go stupid. Yes. Joseph and I lounge on the deck with our yacht wine, taking in the ocean air. The sun starts to dip below the horizon. We could be stranded out here forever. I can't think of anyone else I'd want to be. I can't think of anyone else I'd want to be stranded with. It's just you, me, and all those whales. So many whales. God damn it, Joseph. You're killing the vibe. <laughs> Revive the vibe, Jake. Generally, it takes three days and a gigantic stone door rolled in front of a tomb, but I think we can save it. God. Of course he's bringing out fucking Bible references. Uh, okay. We gotta revive the vibe. This view, though. Do you like your mysteries hot-bodied? Oh, that's a little bit too flirty. I bet we'd have a whale of a time. Mm -hmm. Play, playing, playing up on our own fear. Or what's it like owning a yacht? <laughs> okay, so Aleph, you're voting for what's it like owning a yacht. Alright, so are you. That's our majority vote. What's it like owning a yacht? <laughs> Fuel prices are on the rise. Yearly maintenance is a bit of a strain on the finances. Can't really take it out in the winter months. <laughs> But also, sometimes you can have a party on your yacht, and everyone thinks you're cool, so it evens out. <laughs> Jake, if you had a yacht, what would you name it? Oh boy. The Salty Swallow Lo Oh! Oh my god! That is definitely the most on the nose about the inrendos that this game has been ever. <laughs> My vote is for fuck you, whales, personally. Um, any other opinions? Um, oh god, oh no, I just understood the first one, too. Look, okay, when I saw Swallow, my first thought was, like, the bird. Because swallows are a kind of bird. And, uh... Sailors get tattoos of them, right? Isn't that, like, the stereotype? <laughs> Look, I just didn't get it, okay? <laughs> I, just, I just didn't fucking get it, okay? I wasn't in that mindset. 
the second one immediately snapped me into the correct mindset to understand the first one. But I just wasn't on that wavelength, okay? <laughs> Look, s s Jade and I are both voting for fuck you whales, so we're clicking on fuck you whales. <laughs> the chat tears apart the each other and the streamer. Yeah, this just... God. This is... I mean, I knew Joseph's last one was going to be intriguing, but this is, this is a fucking adventure. This is a fucking journey. It's like, it's like the game is trying to railroad us into saying something flirty. <laughs> there was only one option there that was not flirty. The last one, there were two options that weren't flirty. And then there was only one option that wasn't flirty. And now it's like, is the next one going to be zero? Are we just going to have to bite the bullet? Like, where is this going? I'm keeping on brand here. Riding it on this, riding it on the side of the boat like that is basically asking them to attack. That's the goal. I'd be ready. You know where to find me, you cowards. <laughs> okay, so we are right back to the same three conversations we've before. Oh, okay. Um, this view though, or I bet we'd have a whale of a time. I'm not even mentioning the middle one, okay? Cause like, all signs point to flirty being a fucking disaster. Of course that's what you're fucking voting for, Alice. Jade, what's your vote? <laughs> whale time. Whale time sounds good. I'm tossing my vote in for whale time as well. <laughs> I bet we'll have a whale of a time. Oh. Back to whales, huh? God, it's gonna fucking railroad us into making that flirty comment, isn't it? I'm trying to alleviate my fear of whales by making jokes about them because I don't have any healthier coping mechanisms. <laughs> Cheers to that. Alright, so that got us a positive response. I go to take another sip of wine, but stop myself. Is wine an acceptable beverage Beverage in margarita zone? You fuck of mothers. <laughs> <laughs> office pointing the guns at each other because that's us right now oh yeah no that is exactly the way that this decision the decision train is going today this stream is just this today stream today is a fucking pvp enabled zone <laughs> that it is jake all beverages of leisure are welcome in margarita in the margarita zone this is almost what we wanted, right? <laughs> no responsibilities, no worries, other than possibly dying out here. <laughs> and the whales. But yeah, I'd say we're in the zone. Joseph and I clink our wine glasses again. To the margarita zone. Wink. Wasted away again. I love how the sound clip was literally just him saying wink. We turned on PvP the moment we rolled Joseph's ending. <laughs> yeah, oh god. If you have any salt shakers, we can arrange them into a pentagram to summon Jimmy Buffett. Maybe he can, sa maybe he can save us. As a youth minister, I make pacts with neither the devil nor island jammers. If we're going to get off this boat, it will be by the grace of God. <laughs> hmm. Or Steely Dan. <laughs> Amen. Our laughter dies down. We're both silent for a moment, looking into each other's eyes. Oh, this shit's about the... Daddy versus daddy. No, parent versus parent. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. Mm, where's this going? Joseph leans in closer. I feel myself doing the same. Oh, God, what are they... This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. I can't help but feel like doing this will only end up hurting someone else. But his face is real close to my... F to, to, but his face is real close to my face. Oh. Jake, I have to tell you something. Hmm. Mary and I are done. What? Oh my god.
please give us the option to fuck off. <laughs> I was like, oh, please don't make us choose between kissing and not. God, don't do that. But, like, okay. I mean... Okay, where's this going? Yes. I pull back. I think about the clothes strewn around the lounge. The undone bed. Are you living on this boat? I... I didn't want to mention it, but... Oh my god, he's living on the boat! Oh my god. That's fucking rough. Oh my god, is he still getting to see his kids? How are- who was taking care of his kids? Because I kind of got the impression that Mary was not really around much to take care of... the kids. You were kind of thinking that, but you didn't bring it up. Hmm. He sighs, strolling back to the controls of the boat. I lean in the console next to him. We had a very long talk, and it's unsalvageable. I'm staying here until everything's sorted out. Oh, I'm so sorry. There's anything I can do. Uh, yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine, actually. Yeah. It was a long time coming. <laughs> and for the first time in a long time, I'm seeing a path to happiness. And now I can focus on myself and... Stop trying to deny the things that make me happy. I... I need someone who will be there. Someone kind and honest. And you deserve that, Joseph. You really do. Anyway, I've been having this crazy feeling there's someone who, who I could get in the habit of having around. Someone very close to here. Is it Whales? God fucking damn it, Jake! Ruining the fucking mood! <laughs> Although, I kind of feel that. Because I also have the tendency to be like, Oh boy, let's make a joke in this very serious moment. Because I'm stressed out. Woo! <laughs> Like, I'm yelling at him, but I'm simultaneously yelling at myself. <laughs> I mean you. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to be subtle. Subtlety just doesn't work here, okay? Subtlety does not work with Jake fucking English. <laughs> oh, what, what Jake ship is this? Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm picking up what Joseph's putting down. I lean forward, closing the gap between us when... Joseph grabs the receiver. Uh. Come in, come in. Is anyone there? Uh, no? Over. Oh, fucking... <laughs> We're stranded out on open waters. We've been here- we've been out here for hours. Please send help. Over. But, wait. Are you guys gonna kiss? <laughs> what the fuck? Where is this guy and how we can he how can he see us? <laughs> I mean, what are your coordinates? Over. Fuck it hell. Jake, have you been leaning on the talk button this whole time? Oh my god. <laughs> I look down. Oh. Oh, I definitely have been leaning on the talk button. Fuck. <laughs> Betrayed by my own butt yet again. <laughs> Jake's dumbass restrikes again, indeed. What the fuck is going on here? I didn't lean on it, you leaned on it. Dude, just, just accept it. Neither of you were leaning on the talk button. We didn't hear anything. Over. Thanks, God, Alice, stop! Look, neither of them are leaning on the talk button, okay? Hey, were you listening to us? Sir, so we here at the Coast Guard are professionals. We were not doing that. <laughs> but 
But as professionals, it seems like you deserve happiness. And we think it's closer than you think. Okay, so someone was definitely leaning on the talk button then. They were fucking lying when they said that no one was leaning on the talk button. Um, over. How soon could you guys be here to give us a tow? Over. We'll, uh, pick you up in the morning. Sounds like you do have some stuff to hash out. Over and out. That's not your decision to make! More McDonald's. <laughs> Wait. Mm. Silence. Nobody returns our radio calls. Oh my god! <laughs> Noah, hi! <laughs> the Coast Guard does fucking ship it. Although, y'all... That's fucking rude to just like, just be like, I'm making that decision for you. Just hash it out. And I'm like, it's like, damn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that's that, I guess. Ghost Guard are probably really fucking bored. I mean, that's also true. But damn. <laughs> mm. I think they left. We stare at each other for a second. <laughs> well. Joseph carefully places the receiver on the table, making sure the talk button isn't pressed in. Well, okay. Hi. Joseph grabs me by the shirt and pulls me into a kiss. His lips are soft and sweet from the wine, and his skin is still warm from the sun. I reach for his belt and pull him even closer, running my free hand under his shirt and up his side. He pushes me against the boat's console, kissing down, kissing down my neck. Oh. Come on. His hands... Ugh. His hands drift to my thighs and he effortlessly picks me up. Whoa! <laughs> wow. Joseph carries me below the deck. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't fantasized about this, but I didn't think he'd be so aggressive <laughs> hmm. okay so okay so we did get like the fade to black and then it's like okay so like they fucked and now we're here <laughs> oh, what a fucking way to word that getting saucy oh true though i've wanted this for so long he throws me onto the bed oh no no, there was no fade to black. I thought this was, like, the fade to black, and then it's like, okay, so now it's, like, them. But, like, nah, they're getting descriptive. <laughs> he throws me onto the bed. I let out a little yelp. Oh. Lots of time to kill, Jake. We better get started. Oh, my God! <laughs> That was the fate to black. <laughs> yeah, it was like the, the switch flipped and it was like, okay. <laughs> All right. This is now, and this is the fate to black. Now we are in the post. <laughs> oh man, I might have overdone it on the wine last night. Just a few more minutes of sleep will do just fine. Joseph is clearly a top. I mean... <laughs> yeah. No, that's fucking right. Earlier assumption false. Oh, true. Who was it? Was that... Was that Aleph who said something about Joseph being a bottom? <laughs> Wait. I open my eyes to find Joseph's face a few inches from mine, an arm slung around my waist. He's sleeping peacefully. His... His hair is must, and his lips are still a little red. I think this is what I was talking about when we were discussing Margarita's own. Finding little perfect moments of joy, like the way the light falls across Joseph's face, or how he's still holding me tight, even in his sleep. I'm very tempted to curl up closer to him and keep sleeping, but I know the Coast Guard will probably be here soon, and I'd like to be wearing clothes when that happens. I nudge Joseph. It takes a couple shakes before he blearily opens his eyes. When he notices me hovering over him, he breaks into a huge grin. We should get dressed. Joseph pulls me in for a kiss. 
Do we have to? Another kiss. Stop trying to tempt me. <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> the Coast Guard eventually shows up and tows us back to the bay. They thankfully keep their comments to themselves. Joseph... Oh, there's a word missing there. Should be Joseph and I. Joseph and I step off the yacht and he walks me to my car. Oh. I had a great time. Me too. No thanks to the whales. Yeah. Shh. Shh. You're on land now. They can't hurt you here. <laughs> Trinity says hello and you say goodnight. Alright. Well, hello to you too, Trinity, and good night, Noah. Have a good sleep. <laughs> Take care, Joseph. You too. He gives me one last kiss on the lips before he turns around and walks back to his boat. Oh my god, I thought we were about to be accosted by Robert again. I was like, Robert's gonna be right there and he's gonna punch both one or both of us in the face. <laughs> well, I've been gone an entire day. Hopefully Amanda's alright. Amanda, I'm... Dad! Huh? She runs up and hugs me. I was getting genuinely concerned about your well-being, but upon closer inspection, you seem to be okay. What happened? True, he didn't have cell service to tell Amanda he wasn't going to be home last night. The yacht ran out of gas and so we got stuck. But it was okay, because I was on a yacht. <laughs> huh? Weren't you scared? Your father feels no fear. Were you able to take care of yourself in the night? Or for the night? Yeah, just did a ton of drugs, vandalized a few cars, and then embezzled some funds from my school. All in all, pretty low-key night. <laughs> where'd, you where'd you learn that from? Huh. I learned it from you, Dad! <laughs> well, if you did, you would have funneled those funds through a legitimate cash-and-carry business, fudging the books over a course of years so you don't arouse suspicion from the feds. Rookie mistake, Panda. Hmm. I'm glad you're back in one piece. <laughs> Did you make good choices? Yeah. I think I did. But, hey, I'm starving. Wanna make sandwiches out of whatever we can find in the fridge? Oh. More than anything, Pops. Okay. If that wasn't an S, I would be mad. Because, like, that felt like it should be an S. A B? What the fuck? Okay. Okay. See, here's the thing. All the other ones, I had no expectations for how that was gonna go. I was like, fuck it. However this goes, it goes. But like, yeah. What the fuck? That did go very great. We were not aggressively pushing ourselves on him. Before, before he said what his situation was and what was on his mind and then it was like good shit what the fuck okay so the joke <laughs> so the meters this time are poker buddy potty humor sorted pass relatability whales and salt shakers this is ah uh. okay so next we have um, I'm assuming a managed graduation party happens every time and then the conversation is so different there so I think that either Mary or Robert or both of them or maybe neither of them will rip us a new one at this party. But we'll see how this goes. Yay, achievement unlocked Margarita Zone for completing all three dates with Joseph. Okay. Yeah, it's taking its time loading up again. Cause we got a big one. Okay, so we just read this yesterday. So... Okay, um, so that was the one that we chose. Ugh. Dad. Okay. Yes. So yeah, this is what we read yesterday. I don't want to click the skip button too quickly, because I feel like it might go too fast. Um. <laughs> so, oh. we went to the backyard. Ta-da! Everybody's here, yay! Um. All right. 
Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I think the conversation with Pablo will probably be different if we do all of Matt's dates. So, shirt business. We got... That said something, and I can't go backwards, and now I'm mad. So it was something about, oh no, Mary is approaching me. So now we're talking with Mary. So let's see how this goes. Okay. But I don't wanna... <laughs> Come on, Jake. You can do this. I walk up to Mary. Ugh. Hey. Hey. You been good? Just peachy. I have to go over there now. That went about as well as I could have expected it to. Fair. Okay. And now Brian and then Daisy comes up and is actually much sweeter than her father. Craig. Hey. This won't change from last time. You go. Hey. Um. <laughs> yes, Amanda's hey. buzzing by. Hey. Ah. Oh. Robert. Hey. Hey. Robert gestures vaguely to the snack table. Good stuff. Yep. See you later. Okay. So, total blank with Robert. And, uh, yes, so there's Matt. Damien, yes. Okay. See what kind of ending we get. That was not an S, so I'm assuming we're not going to get the very best best ending. But, hopefully, it's also not the bullshit that we got with Robert yesterday, where he just fucked off. <laughs> the sun is setting, and everyone seems to have eaten their fill. As the party starts to wind down, I take a seat next to Joseph. Joseph, it's so great to see you again. <laughs> great party. I should have you organize our next youth group mixer. My dance skills are ready whenever you need them. Uh, hey, if you aren't busy this weekend, I was thinking we could maybe catch a movie or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that sounds like it would be fun. This feels weird. It doesn't feel like it did on the yacht. So, uh, I guess things are still friendly with Mary? <sighs> yeah, I wanted to talk to you about that. Are they gonna fucking get back together now? Joseph sighs. <laughs> we talked, and we talked for a long time. And there was some yelling and some crying, but ultimately, there was a reconciliation. I'm sorry, Jake. I have to make this work with Mary. Oh. I know, I shouldn't have... I didn't mean to hurt you. And I'm really sorry you got caught up in all this. I've just felt so lonely lately, and I'm not even sure I'm doing the right thing here. <laughs> You've come to mean so much to me, and I'll never forget all those beautiful moments we share together. But I have to thank you. In a way, this whole thing with you helped me realize that I still love my wife very much. Ouch! <laughs> Ouch! I mean, like, I'm glad that he's having these realizations, but it's kind of like... You know, it hurts a little to just be like, thank you for being a tool in my journey. <laughs> like, damn. Oh, that's great. I know this probably isn't what you wanted to hear, and I'm sorry if you were hoping for something different, but this is where my life is, and I need to do the I need to do right by my family. But hey, Joseph squeezes my hand. <laughs> We'll always have margaritas on. Joseph stands up. Take care, Jake. 
You too, Joseph. Joseph walks off. I... Man, did I do something wrong? Was there another way this could have ended if I'd done something differently? I walk over to the half-melted remnants of the ice cream cake and shove a forkful in them into my mouth. This ice, cre this ice cream cake is my new boyfriend. <laughs> the last guests begin to make their way out of the party. Amanda wanders over and, and sits down next to me. Okay, and I think this conversation uh, is likely going to go about the same. Because this conversation is based off of all of the other cutscenes with Amanda. Alternate ending poly relationship. Like, that's a fucking valid option, you know? <laughs> Never trusted Christian. <laughs> uh... Okay. So Amanda has something for us. I know. Crying. Present time. Tiny wrap package. The framed picture. Find the memories pressed down the road. Memories make stuff to break. Break the last stuff. Amanda and I wave bye to the party goers as they leave. We sit together and watch the sun slowly dip below the horizon. Pledge means Ooh. friends. I thought that was the end, but it is not. I did not remember this correctly. Um, Alright, no, maybe it's not what you're looking for, but these people care about you. Love you, Dad. We'll always have each other. You're right. Team English. That's the end. Team English. Okay. Amanda's laugh is so good. Okay, so that is the end of Joseph's. Hmm. Okay, so that one also did not go fantastically. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to go back through older streams now and like write down, like keep track of all of the ratings on all of the different dates. That would take time though. Time that I need to be spending on homework. Um, but uh, yeah, damn. I mean like, okay. We got S's on most of the second dates, I'm pretty sure. Also, most of the first one. We, like, we did pretty dang good, I think. Um, but yeah, so that's that's rough. That's a rough one. I'm gonna have to look up the... Now I'm gonna have to Google <laughs> Joseph's good ending, too. There was at least like some sort of closure to this. I'm still a little peeved about Robert just fucking right off. <laughs> but, um... <sighs> that should have been a good date. Like, where did we go wrong? Where did we go wrong? Did the game, like, want us to be a little bit pushier with the advances? Like, was that it? Or... <sighs> I don't know. And all our dads. Okay. Um, yeah, like, I'm gonna look that up for sure. I'm gonna try and find what the best ending for Joseph is. Um. Yo, what? We got this picture of Joseph in his speedo drawing a heart. Greetings from Margarita Zone. Oh, it's got the backgrounds of the gate of the, the different stages in it. 
cool. Right, I think I read something about this. You can get, like... You can get little postcards like this for all of them, if you, like... Do well enough? So this is basically saying that, like, we did well, but not well enough, I think? Like, we just fucking sucked with Roberts, but, like, we did pretty good with Joseph, but not good enough to get, like... the quote-unquote best end, like the one that actually felt satisfying for the character or whatever. Or maybe that was the best end, and maybe I'm just using my warped perceptions of what the goals of this game are supposed to be. I don't know, because I mean, at the end of the day, it's like... Maybe, but still, I know, I know, I know. Okay, um... Now if I'm... There it is, gallery! I had a feeling this would open up. So now we can go back and look at all of the ones that we collected. We didn't get Roberts, but... Roberts, in order to get Roberts, I think I have to start free from the fucking beginning, because... <laughs> because we bowed out early on the first date. Um... Ah, welcome. Thanks for coming and checking out my channel. <laughs> uh, we're just about done for today, but uh, we'll be right back at it again next weekend. Um, but yeah, so if we click on it, then we get this. Oh, that was something. Um, you're happy for him. <laughs> you felt like, mm. <laughs> Is this a bot? This is a, this is a bot. This is a first. I haven't had a bat uh, bot before. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's neat. Um, <sighs> all right, first time for everything. Anyway. Wow, I'm now I'm now attracting enough attention to get spammers. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, as I was saying before that happened, um, I should stop playing with with the dice. I was playing with the dice, and I was like, "This is gonna make a bunch of noise." Um, so. That's streams for this weekend. That is streams for this weekend. Finito. Um, next weekend we may or may not get back to Dream Daddy. Depends on how long Pest Request is and if we need to split it up into two parts. Um, but yeah, get fucking pumped for Pest Request. I'm so, so fucking excited for Car Cat and Kanaya because I love them so very much. <laughs> I love them so very much and I'm so uh, special place in my heart. Anyway. Um, hold up. Yo! Other thing I just realized. Joseph's sprite on the main menu is now in full color.
Ah, oh, damn it. Now I have to go back and this thing is I end up having to go back and fucking redo Roberts just to get the fucking completionist bullshit, aren't I? <laughs> I don't think Roberts is. I mean, we have to wait for his fucking face to come in the slow ass rotation <laughs> to see, but I don't think so. You're pumped for Nepeta? Ugh. Oh, bless. This is gonna be. It'll be exciting when we get, get around to the Nepeta. Oh my god, this thing is so slow. I just want to see Roberts. Oh, it's starting to show in the top right corner. Nope. That is not in color. No, so we like super fucked up Roberts. Um. <laughs> Um, yeah, that might have just been the good ending for Joseph, because even if it felt unsatisfying, it was like, and like kind of open-ended, it was like the best ending for the situation that it was. Um, shit. See, now I feel like I have to go back and do Robert's route correctly. try something. Since we have like 10 minutes left of stream, I can just look this shit up like right here right now. Um, I'm just gonna quickly... I'm gonna mute the game. Um, let me... Yeah, we've got enough time. I can just look this up live. Um, Welcome. You've got dads. In, okay, so that was the beginning of the video, and now we skip. Skip, 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 skip. Um. Da, 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 da. Okay. Huh. All right, here we are. So now it's playing the... I feel like I could just show this on stream, but I also am not sure about showing... Literally just playing someone else's fucking YouTube video. You know what I mean? Um... Okay, so... Oh. Joseph, so great to see you again. Great party, youth group mixer. So far, it's looking... Roughly the same. Uh, uh. Um. Yeah, that was act that was actually the best ending. I thought we fucked up, but it turns out this game was just playing us. <laughs> now I feel bad for feeling like we fucked up. <laughs> But yeah, no, that was the best ending. All right, sweet. We got the nice. best ending. Yay! <laughs> ah. I guess I figured that if the best ending really was this, then there would be um, some, some, some sort of feeling of satisfaction coming from the character rather than the shaky kind of going over to the cake and saying my the cake is my new boyfriend <laughs> but um yeah that would be it then cool if it ended in a poly thing you would have been happy like yeah see that's the thing is that that's yeah. also an option but this game doesn't really explore that Ooh. Whoa. Huh. Ugh, now I'm getting a fucking advertisement. Okay. 
Um, so, we got the best ending then. Sweet. Alright, that is one good ending out of seven so far. One out of two that we've completed at least. So, fingers crossed we'll get some more good endings out of our next route, which will be maybe next weekend, maybe the weekend after that. Um, Alright. It is now like five minutes of time. We've felt we padded the extra time pretty well. But it's time for me to skedaddle. I have homework to do, and I'm staying up until five in the fucking morning to watch the off the new Splatoon live concert <laughs> when it streams at five in the morning because it is in fucking J uh, Japan time, which for them is six p.m., but for me it's five in the morning. So you know. You know what? This is one of the last days I'm gonna be able to do this and, like, get away with it. Since I have a, I guess, have a part-time job now. <laughs> I have a feeling that I will not be able to pull this kind of bullshit very much anymore. So I'm gonna enjoy it while it lasts. I'm gonna stay up until 5 in the fucking morning. I'm gonna party it out with Squid Sisters and Off the Hook. And then I'm gonna go into my work and sign a fucking contract. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, that was an interesting one. Uh, I kind of hope that none of the others be streams become PvP enabled zones. <laughs> um, but, next weekend, get pumped for motherfucking Pester Quest. Hey! That shit has been, like, getting me through these weeks. Um, it was fun PvP, yeah. It was never, like, over- it was never, like, overtly malicious. Um, if I have a second where I need to take a break, I might go back through, uh, and replay the Robert roots from very early on, just so I can fill out that, uh, face card in the gallery. <laughs> um, just cause it's gonna fucking irritate me now if we have, like, a bunch of the others and, like, not that one. It's like, brr. Anyway. Anyway. Fingers crossed, I will be seeing you all right back here next weekend for that good, good Pester Quest shit. Um, hope y'all had a lovely time. Thanks for hanging out. Have a wonderful rest of your day, whatever you may be getting up to. And from my end, that is good night. <laughs>